In today's video, we're going to be taking my gun right here and we're going to see how good a bore cider actually works. This gun right here is a 223. It's a Ruger American Predator. We just put a new scope on it, so it is not sighted in. What we're going to do is we're going to put a target down range. I'm going to shoot it a couple times, about twice, to see where I'm hitting. I should not be hitting where I'm aiming. I shouldn't be because we just threw the scope on. It's not sighted in or anything. Then what we're going to do is bore sight it, do everything we can to bore sight it the way it says it's, we're supposed to, and then see if the bore sighter can actually help us hit, you know, closer where we're aiming. Now you may be saying, well, KG, dude, a bore sighter is just to get you on paper. It's not meant to sight you in. Well, here's the thing, guys. That is true. And what we're going to be doing is shooting them first to see where it's hitting, and then second to see if the bore sighter can actually get us closer to zero. Now we're going to be shooting at about 100 yards, and that sounds kind of far because it really is the first sight in your gun. But whenever you factor in that we have a really big piece of cardboard that really helps us out. Because this board at 100 yards is the same size as a pizza box at like 20 or 30. Don't check me on that. I'm not sure. But yeah, we're going to go set that up. Then we'll start shooting. Let's ride down there and we'll set it up. The caliber that we're shooting is 223. I already said that. But we got two different kinds of bullets. We have some steel case, which is pretty low quality. And then we have some Freedom Munitions, which is extremely high quality. We're going to be shooting them both, so in this video, not only are we going to see if a bore cider works, but we're also going to see how those two compare. Alright, so I'm going to set this one right here. And that should give us a really big target to shoot at. What I'll do is I'll aim right there inside the P. That's going to be the first two shots. And then we'll bore sight it afterwards and see if it can get us closer. We did have a bigger long range scope on it. That was 4.5 to like... 18 and then we switched it to a 3 by 12 scope so that way we should be a lot better for hunting since this is pretty much a hunting gun here's the bullets we're starting out with now guys i'm not expecting these to do super amazing but you know what they should be good enough to get us sighted in then we can come in with the expensive bullets and really dial in for that specific round we'll be hunting the difference is two dollars per shot which is absolutely insane versus 20 cents those those bullets are 10 times more expensive than these all right, here we go. I'm just going to put these two on target, or at least try to get them on paper. Okay. All right, let's go check it out and see if we're on paper. All right, where are we hitting? All right, way down there. You see that? That's not a very tight group, as could be imagined, but overall, down into the left, probably three to maybe four feet. All right, let's go ahead, get at the bore cider, see what it can do. Bore sight it, boom. We'll see if it gets us closer. Usually whenever I've been sighting in guns without a bore cider, what I'll do is set up like a pizza box about 20 yards or something. I'll get it sighted in right there and then just compensate for the height over bore. So at about 20 yards, I'd shoot my gun, get it sighted in, but to where the bullets are hitting about two inches low. That way, when you really stretch it out, your sight will have stayed parallel to where the bullet is, and you should be on paper out there. But that's usually how I've been doing it. It's just setting up a target up close, about 30, 25, and then just sighting it in to where the bullets is hitting about an inch and a half, two inches below. Here is the bore sighter that we're going to be testing. Now, I know there's a couple different kinds. There's some you, you can stick in a laser. This one's a little bit different, but check it out. It's a Pursuit. I got it a long time ago at a used it once but inside of here it has a grid pattern it's kind of hard to see and you're probably not going to be able to see it too good but what happens is whenever you look down the scope you got to line up your crosshairs directly on the inside of that grid supposedly that can get your bore sighted on paper but from here you stick this onto there crank it down like that and then from here you literally just stick this in your barrel and it does that right there and then from there you look down your scope and you try to sight it in. I think it's actually going to get us pretty dead on. If what I'm thinking is correct. So check that out. Y'all can kind of see what I'm looking at. You can see the grid and you can see that the crosshairs is to the top right of the grid. All I'm going to do is try to line up my crosshairs directly inside of the grid. So I'll just come up here, start twisting my scope down. Twisting my scope down until it's about right in the middle line. There we go. Twist my other turret, my side turret. The other way and get me lined up just perfectly just like that now i'm no professional and i'm not 100 sure but it, it did adjust in the same direction that the crosshairs need to go so this could actually get me on paper really close or at least it, it looks like it okay i'm going to get on down here and fine tune it without the camera we're down on it right there it needs to come a little bit that way 
Um, according to this, we should be pretty good right there. So I'm gonna just gonna take it off, pretty basic, set it back down. And now this, man, dude, if this works, that's crazy. I know a lot of people who spend a box of ammo trying to get their guns on target. Especially if you don't have a box that big, don't have the luxury of having a target that big. Because you can spend a lot of ammo quick, especially when they're $2 each. Just saying, guys. So yeah, I'm going to aim at the P, same spot. Let's see how this goes. You ready? Yep. All right, here we go. I'm going to zoom all the way in, try to be as precise as possible. All right. Here for the next one. All right. Let's go look at it and see just how much closer it got us. If any. All right, it definitely got us way closer. You know, that's actually kind of crazy because we went from down there just like without anything doing cr anything crazy to up here just from the bore side. Just from that little bore side and kit, we are only four, four or five inches. inches off, something like that, mm -hmm. depending on what bullet you're looking at. I'm impressed. I am. Done right. really good. But now what we're going to do is we're going to put a three-shot group with the steel-cased ammo and a three-shot group with the $2 per shot ammo and see just how much of a difference there's going to be. For the steel-cased, I'm going to aim right here. For the expensive ammo, I'm going to aim down here. Let's go see what we can do. All right, three shots, super cheap steel-cased. What are your predictions? What kind of group do you think we're going to get? This is a Ruger American, so it's not the most best gun in the world, but it's still a good gun. Still a good gun. Uh, about a two inch group. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. So these are going high, right? Yep, these are going high with the steel cased. Alright, there's the three shots. Now let's do three shots of expensive ammo. Which also are specialized for killing, I believe. Not that I'm killing as in like coyotes and stuff. Because they do have a good hollow point ballistic tip, whatever. Alright, what do you think for these? A little tighter, probably. probably I'm going to say an inch and a half. Inch, inch and a quarter. Actually, I'm going to aim at a different point. Because that one point's too small to see. Okay. But I'll remember the point. All right, that's three. Three and three, let's see. So here's what we got. Steel cased, I aimed right there. We had those two, which is within whatever that is, not really sure, within an inch for sure, and then one flyer out there. And then for the expensive ones, I was just aiming at the feather, and it looks like we're still sitting about a two and a half inch group right there. Overall, the still kind of done better. Yeah, which who's to say, which I don't know, this is all theory, what about what if one of the ones that was close to the target was actually over here and it was a flyer and it just flew into the right spot? You never know. You're just going to shoot a little bit more. We might shoot a little bit more, but just from this and my experience with steel case, like that much difference, that's not perfect, but for literally one-tenth of the cost it is. I mean, and that's good. Like, I mean, hey, at the end of the day, if I'm going hunting, I want to be able to hit exactly what I'm aiming, so... If I'm going hunting, I'm definitely going to be taking that ammo. I got three pop can size targets down there. A pop can size target at 100 yards can kill anything, even a groundhog. So let's see what we can do. This is the Ruger American. I have had a few problems maybe with it in the past. Let's come feel the barrel. We've not really shot a ton, but uh, it's, it's hot. It gets hot real quick, don't it? Yeah, it gets hot really quick, which could be a reason why some of our shots are kind of opening up, even with the really good ammo. It's not a super expensive gun, either. The scope's pretty good. It's mounted all good, so... You're welcome. Here we go. Let's just shoot them, and we'll, we'll try to make them ding. Here we go. Ready? There's one. Two. And that's three. That right there, it'll kill a deer. 223, it will kill a deer. Shouldn't kill a deer, as before, somehow. But yeah, oh, that was cool. You see that? That's a trick shot. I ejected the case into the box. I'm just gonna close it up and keep it. Yeah, so yeah, boys, does a bore cider work? Yeah. That one sure did. If there's any more cool gadgets or something you'd want us to test, let us know. Cause I didn't know if that was working or not. But it did. I don't think I've ever used it. I don't know, man. 
Sure works for this one. Bye.